guys. So we're gonna do part two of our ghost town adventure today. Uh, we're gonna check out Highway 13 in South Saskatchewan. Uh, it's called the Red Coat Trail. It's Red Coat Trail, yeah. And we're gonna do how many kilometers today? Oh, probably 400 or so. And we're gonna try to find some ghost towns. So we're gonna find some abandoned stuff possibly, maybe some cool things along the way. So we're gonna take you with us. P.S. For those of you who were concerned about my poor little toes in the last video, I am wearing shoes today. Yeah! So we just came into our first town, Trossax, Saskatchewan. Uh, it appears that there's still a few people living here. Um, we're going to try to look for something that looks slightly abandoned. I guess we'll see. <laughs> So we just found a, some sort of little old church structure. I don't even know what year that would have been built. We won't go down there just because it's private property, but it looks pretty cool. All right, within 30 seconds, we've just changed our mind. I guess we're going to go down and check this out. Always good to apologize after if they tell us no. Store. We're gonna go check it out, see if we can get inside it. Can we? Yeah. Alright. Should I show them to take this off? Yeah, as long as we put it back after, I think we're fine. Look at the old, old stove. Whoa. Yeah, this is probably from, well, what's the year on that calendar? Uh, 74. So, in 74, somebody used it for a mechanic shop, but I don't think so since then. <laughs> Time to go. Lots of neat little treasures in there. I think we saw lots of pretty cool stuff in Trollsack, so head to the next town? Yeah. Cool. Okay. What's the next town? Good question. <laughs> I I'm guess we should you. check the map. Okay, so the next town is Kadive. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's in, I think about, oof, I'd say about 25 kilometers from here. So we're gonna head west 25 kilometers and see what we can find. Send kids to school in a town, in a school like that. Could dive. Public school, but there's no way it's it's being used for school right now. It's got a new door on it. Yeah, they do something with it, but or maybe they do. I don't know. Well, let's go check it out. That's weird. It's crazy that they can refurbish something like this from I don't know 1920 something the and 20s, yeah. and still actually use it. Yeah, there's like power out here and there's a gas meter so there's, there's no one here right now but they use it for something and an outhouse <laughs> i just peed outside and then we walked around the corner and realized that there's an outhouse here what are the odds <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow it's like a community hall running low here it's almost lunchtime need some coffee and pizza <laughs> Abandoned, possibly, a good chance of it. 
This is this definitely one's definitely bad at the house. Keeps yeah. falling in. Yeah. Holy shit. There can't be anyone living there. No, can't be. The place is like just collapsing. Looks like it's boarded it's up. Boarded up good. Some abandoned vans. Yeah. Couple. <laughs> Why not? Sure. abandoned house and it looks like this is one that we can actually go inside so I'm pretty excited. Okay. What year do you think this is from? So this is all 20s. 20s? 20s probably, yeah. yeah. All right. They say humans are social animals. They can't live alone. some sort of little junkyard it's got some old rusty pipe and stuff and some old cement anyway we're gonna go check it out and see Probably if there's anything cool fall get tetanus you know but we have shoes on this time so no tetanus for us <laughs> been to that actually is a ghost town. There are streets, street signs, abandoned houses, abandoned green elevators, and I think there's maybe one house here that actually someone lives in, and I think they're probably taking care of the town, so. Yeah, there's nothing else with the street signs, and there's no, like, there's just nothing. There's nothing here. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> it's spicy, that is all. All right, so we reached our end point, basically where I started on my part one. So we're gonna turn back around. We found a couple uh, little houses that we sort of skipped on the way. Uh, we got hungry and skipped them. So we're gonna go check those out, then we're gonna head home. What was your school? Oh, 1912 to 1929. Wow. Let's go check it out. Shall we go in? Yeah, 1912 to 1959. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. What? Nice. There's stuff written on the chalkboard still. Okay, you gonna write something or not? Let's do it. We'll see. Whew. Oh, yeah. The bases are somewhere it's not been sealed to for sure. Damn. Oh, my Jeebus. Wow. They would have had all the wood in there piled. And then there's the furnace. They Send kids down to throw wood in there, and then after the heat duct goes up into the main. I don't know what all this wood is. It's not what they burn. But the house falling apart. What? There's coal in the coal room. Look, there's still coal in there in the coal room. Wow. Absolutely. Look at that. So they must have had stacks of coal in here, so they must have shoveled it into the... It wasn't wood burning, it was coal burning. It's still on the floor. Holy <laughs> shit. Like 75 years later. <laughs> wow. Awesome. All right. It's really cool down here. Mm -hmm. Like, temperature-wise. Mm -hmm. It's like 37 and a half degrees outside, probably. Just kidding, it's like 30. And it's like 20 down there. This place is pretty cool. Pretty unique with all the chalkboards. Now we've left our names. They'll know we were here. Back out into the plus 30. Whew. So this is where they shot the coal down into the basement. It's pretty cool. Just the the stonework on this building. Yeah, well, it's incredible. It's 105 years old. Oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. This is the coal chute. <laughs> oh, crazy though. Oh, and there's the pooper. <laughs> All right, on to the next place. So we just came across another farmyard. Looks like it's probably from the 20s as well. Really old. Lots of really cool stuff in this yard. There's a house that we can get into, which is sweet. There's an abandoned farmyard on every quarter, on all four corners of this road. It's just kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's no real farms where anybody's living. Yeah. For miles and miles and miles. 
We just picked the one that looked easiest to get to. <laughs> There's a bunch more back there. This one's got a lot of garbage and just nasty stuff on the ground, so I don't know if we're actually going to go in. I don't know if I want to step in there. Might be something else to see over here. Huh. Wow. This isn't a very big house, eh? No. It's crazy how. Couch, though. Look at oh, that. yeah. You can probably see from the other side. You want to go look in that window? Yeah, let's do that. It's crazy how small living quarters they had back then, yeah. hey? Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh. Lots of steel on the ground. Yeah, there, but yep, pretty smelly. Not a place I want to hang my hat. <laughs> they locked the door back in, they put a lock on the door back in 1946. They were like, we'll be back next week. And uh, then they never now came back. Of house class. <laughs> <laughs> you waited too long, bro. Alright, so there is an abandoned house in here, right here. But the trail to get in is a crazy goat trail. And right here is a break of the trees. Right here, you can see it go in. There's no way. Yeah. The car's not going to go in there. No, no, no. But I mean, I don't know. I don't even know if I want to walk that. It's Tick Town. <laughs> it's Tick Town. But that's going to be full by now. Look at it there. Right? That's true. Like some of these other ones, you can tell other people have been there, but this, like, that's hidden. Like, you would have to. I don't know. <laughs> okay, if you can find an easier way for us to walk in and get well, to Well, we'll be driving because there's, there's a grain bin there. So Somebody has to drive in there to put it. We're just gonna go in the tractor way. Good car will be fine. We're a tractor. We'll stay out of the <laughs> stay out of the crop. Yeah, don't start the grass on fire with the car. I don't know what it's like. Have you ever done that before with the exhaust? Yeah, if it gets it's this hot out, it can, yeah. But this is all green, so it's alright. This is We're definitely a, a tractor trail. Oh well. Okay, well, this is close as we're gonna get now. Okay, and now we walk. I can do this. I can do this. This is doable. <laughs> okay. I don't know where the house is, though. This way? Here it is. This is it. So, this is definitely one of the biggest, nicest houses we've seen out here, but this is not on the beaten path. Like, it's completely hidden from this road. It has an upstairs and a basement. <laughs> but that's a nice old house. Like that was, this would have been an expensive place 100 years ago. She's not scared, she's gonna go in. Well, I'm a little scared. The door's shut though. Do you think you can get it open? Uh, yeah, here, I'm gonna give you the camera. All right, he's gonna see if the door's unlocked or openable. Be careful. Oh, we have a winner. All right, let's do this. Does it look safe? Uh, no. <laughs> Here we go. Cool. So we just got the first door open. Now they put a, I don't know, to hold the door shut. So here we go. Here we go. This house is probably from 1910-05 and very nice. Like you can just tell by the wood, this is not like a, a poor farmer's house. This is a like a well-to-do. This was a rich person's house back in 100 years ago, for sure. It's you also extremely dark. Yeah, it's dark. All the windows are boarded up. You know, there's, a, there's windows open over here. Not all of them. Whew. Yep. Okay. Whew. Oops. Oh, look. There's stairs. Ooh, that's creepy. <laughs> Old washing machine from the 30s? Oh my. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, oh. that's worth money. Really? Oh yeah. Look at this bed mattress that one, once was. This, probably 
five, six hundred bucks. Yeah. You want to sell it there? This guy knows his antiques. It belongs to somebody else, so we're just gonna look. This is a nice old house. Yeah. Honestly, this is nice. Like you can almost, you can almost clean this, like fix it. But it's been a long time since people have been here. Yeah. I think we should probably. Babe, it's been a bench of 50 years. Look at the bushes. Like, it's been so long since someone's been here. Yeah, there's like trees growing out of the house. Right up to the fucking windows. So, okay, here we are coming up to um, a staircase. It's... <gasps> Sorry. It's really dark though. I don't know if you guys can see this. Mm -hmm. Let's say out of all the abandoned places we went to today, this one was the most livable. <laughs> if that's well, even possible. Well, it's just such a nice house. Like this, these people all obviously had money. Yeah, like just the the quality build. Yeah. And they had a pretty nice view from here too. I'd say, not bad. I could handle this. All right, well, that was uh, the conclusion of our trip. So we're gonna head home now, but if you're ever in Saskatchewan and wanna get off the beaten path, definitely check out Highway 13. Yep. It's a beautiful highway, so much to see, and so many little abandoned treasures to find. It's great, Redcoat Trail. Hopefully when you come, it's not 37 degrees. Thanks for watching.